I wish I could say it was sexier, but 90% of my time is walking between doors, standing at doors, nobody answering the door. Hey, how you doing? My name is Will Gazzardi. Uh, mi nombre es Will Gusardi. Yeah, I'm running for state representative in the neighborhood. I'm running against the incumbent in the primaries this March. Her name's Tony Berrios. I think the only way we're gonna make this neighborhood a better place to live is by getting people in government who actually care about it, you know, who aren't just yeah. part of that system. Hey, once you get in office, all you care about is money, <laughs> like everybody else. That's a hard argument to counter because I sort of agree with her, you know, that so many of our politicians are really not looking out for folks who live on a block like this. My commitment is to those I serve. It's an honor to fight for our community. Well, let's be clear. We're talking about Tony Berrios, the daughter of Joe Berrios, who's head of the Cook County Democratic Party, and a man who has extraordinary power. You've hired your son, your sister, two sisters-in-law, and a brother-in-law, and her daughter already works at the assessor's office. When you're going up against the machine in this way, you're going up against a candidate who has access to virtually unlimited money. We need you guys. We're going to prove that we can take on the establishment and we can win. Three, the higher ups, they're scared too. Because she's a yes a vote, but no, she'll toe the line. I'm the one that goes to Springfield. I'm the one that takes the votes. Every night when I'm knocking on doors, I sort of want to just come home at 7 o'clock. You know, and there's no one who would really know if I did that or stop me. It wasn't until somebody actually went after the heart of the power structure where what existed underneath really has suddenly been kind of broken open. I'm glad my opponent showed up. Representative Berrios, welcome. She says Gazzardi is soft on rapists and pedophiles. I was waiting for them to come up with something that we never would have dreamed it would be this. It's difficult to know at what point people become totally disgusted, just like it's difficult to know at what point people go, oh wait, maybe there's something to this. Some of it is personal, but like, my personal is very public right now. I don't want to put myself in a position where for the rest of my life I'm going to be held accountable to something that I don't really believe. <laughs> Sometimes it'll feel like, oh, we're like way up. Other times you hear something that's like, wow, that doesn't sound good. We'll see what happens on election day. I don't think any of us in here have thought about the possibility of losing, so that's out of the question here. There's just a lot of people have a lot on the line in this race. It keeps you up at night, you know. It's not about Will Gazzardi and Tony Perios. It's about who has access to power and what has to happen to make sure that that is kept.